You can make up to a thousand dollars in a night. Hey everybody, it's Natalie, and today I'm going to tell you guys how I make passive income with my selfie booth or digital photo booth, iPad booth, different names, same thing. All right, let's get straight to it. So y'all know me, I'm Natalie. I own Ideal Photo Booth Rentals and I started off with a 360 photo booth and then I expanded my photo booth business because it was doing so well and here I am. So I'll tell you guys what you need to get started, how I started my business, how much money you can make and how to market your business. First, let's talk about what is a selfie booth. Selfie booth is an iPad booth inside of a stand and it takes pictures and you send them digitally. You don't have to print anything out. They just send the pictures through their phone, text, or email. The best thing about the digital photo booth is you drop it off and then you can leave and then you can come back and pick it up when, when it's done. To make it passive, you can even have somebody else drop it off, set it up for you. You don't have to do anything. You can pay them as little as $50 to set it up and you just sit home and collect that passive money. You can make up to $1,000 in a night just with the selfie booth. If you want to add more stuff onto it, it goes up from there because you can add backdrops, things like that to increase your revenue. Here's everything that you'll need to start your photo booth business. You'll need the stand, which has like a ring light around it. And I'll leave the link to that in my description for a good stand. You'll need an iPad. For the iPad now, you want to have a newer iPad because you want to make sure it takes great quality pictures. So you can use an iPad Pro or an iPad Air. And then you'll need a backdrop as well. Um, you can start off with one backdrop because a lot of my customers, they like to just get their own backdrop. So you don't have to really worry about that. If not, you can charge extra for them to have a backdrop and then you can expand from there. You'll need some stanchion software, which is LumaBooth or TouchPix. I like LumaBooth. It's only $20 a month and it's good if you're just getting started and you want to keep your budget low. TouchPix has a lot of cool effects like AI where you could just create cool effects and you could put people's body onto a Superman or you could change the background, put them in a whole different environment. It's really cool. There's a lot of different effects and stuff in, that you can use with touch picks. Now that is a little bit more expensive. So touch picks is like $50 a week, $135 a month, or like $999 a year. You might want to add like a red carpet if you want to, to make your set up look better. You can get fun props like hats, boas, and glasses all on Amazon. Or you can even go to Party City and get more props as well. Once you have all your stuff to get started, you're going to want to be able to promote your business. In order to promote your business, all you have to do is go on Facebook groups. You want to go and add your photo booth to Facebook Market. I've got bookings from Facebook Market as well. Um, I do Google ads. I have a guy from Fiverr create my ads for me and it has brought me so much business. Make sure you set aside a budget for your marketing and advertising. No negotiating that. You have to have a marketing budget, even if it's 50 or hundred dollars. Then you can promote it on wedding groups. A lot of brides want to have a photo booth at their wedding. And so go on different groups, event planner groups, wedding groups on Facebook, join posts about you know your business on those groups then you can do social media advertising as well TikTok, instagram and make sure you have a business facebook as well follow me you already know i speak about google business if you don't have a google business play page you're I'm, I'm gonna have a problem with you because i've gotten so much business just by having a google business page all you have to do is go on google maps and create your business page Connect your website to it. If you don't have a website, that's another problem. Don't get me started on that. Make sure you have a good website and connect that to your Google listing. Now, my first booking was through Google business page. Okay, I got it within one week of creating my Google business page. This is how you want to make sure you have a good Google business listing. You want to get reviews, get a couple people, get reviews on your business page, add pictures and photos, make sure you have your logo on there your business hours and just put a lot of work into that Google listing because people are going to be able to search that the more work you put in your Google listing, the higher up Google will list your business and it will boost your SEO and it'll boost your SEO for your website. Speaking of a website, make sure your website is clean. It has pictures uh, to show uh, customers what they're going to get from you. Make sure they're able to contact you and call you. 
Make sure you have a business phone number. You can go on Google and get a Google phone number and then you answer that phone professionally. I have a guy that does my websites and if you message below, I can get you his information. He's really good and he's able to get it done. Promote your business, guys. It's It's got to be done. You can make as much as $1,000 a night just with the photo booth. Now, when you want to price your photo booth, you want to price per hour and then you want to go by, is it a corporate event or is it a personal event? And then you also want to know, is it a large event or a small event because you charge different prices for the size of the event because it's more work or less work. I can't tell you exactly how much to charge because every area is different. So depending on where you live, it's going to be a different price. So I suggest that you call around, do your research before you start your business, call around, call different photo booth business, get a quote. So you know what the price range is for your area. You don't want to be too cheap. You don't want to be too expensive. Don't be the cheapest person around either. I don't like that because that's not what you're in business for. You're not in business to search for crumbs and everybody's not going to be your client. So stop trying to make everybody your client and be cheap. Cheaper is not always better. And you don't want to be working a million hours and not making as much as a person that works two hours because they charge it with their worth. When you're charging with your worth, make sure that your business reflects the prices that you're having. Don't be the cheapest. Just be in the middle because you don't want to be the most expensive either. Just starting out. You want to make sure that your quality is up to par. And, you know, that takes time to learn and grow. I want to know, guys, are you thinking about starting a photo booth business? And what's holding you back? Comment below and make sure if you want to know more about setting up a photo booth that you ask those questions because I will make videos. Make sure you subscribe and like this video as well. Thanks for watching and bye.